Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a pretty long email here. I'm going to summarize this email, but I think this is a problem that a lot of people face. And uh, it's too bad I'm not going to read this whole email because it's long, but it, it, I'm going to kind of try and give you the point of, of what, what I'm saying here. You'll, you'll see as, as, I, as I read through this. So uh, this comes from James. He says, hey, John, quickly want to say you're more of an influence than many other bloggers slash video makers because you are genuine and speak from the heart. I will be sure to buy your courses as I have no doubt they will have a positive influence on my life. Cool, I appreciate that, James. Uh, short relative introduction for me. My name is James, I'm 19 years old, and I'm trying to make the best decisions for myself in terms of achieving multiple goals. These goals are, so I'm gonna kind of summarize these, but he says, professional footballer, learning the mean stack for web development, learning more C++, uh, read self-development, autobiography, marketing books, etc. for at least two Pomodoros daily. Learn German for at least two Pomodoros because I'm moving to a German country for football. Uh, he goes on to say, I do have solid reasons behind each of these goals. An attempt to commit time each day to try achieve the, to try achieve them. I've read the book The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson, as well as uh, the article on Simple Programmer about what software developers can learn from Arnold Schwarzenegger. In this article, it stated that Arnold only focuses his attention on one thing at a time, i.e. bodybuilding, so he could allocate his full creative energy towards that goal, which is powerful. So he goes on to say that he finds it a challenge to go from hard individual skills uh, to sitting quietly at the next task that he has planned for the day. Uh, basically, if you're in my position, what would you do? I keep on thinking that I should just toughen up and force myself to do it, even if I don't feel like it and disregard my feelings and that over time I should feel less resistance because I'm training my brain that it can't stop me from doing something I commit to. Uh, so, so James, I, I have to say I admire your spirit. Like you've got a lot of the right ideas here. I mean, you're 19, you've got this dialed in, you're willing, I mean, w for someone to be willing to say, maybe I should just toughen up and, and just like keep go, that's good. That's the message I've been trying to tell a lot of people that they just will not get. So you've got that at 19. You're willing to do what it takes. So most people, their problem is they're not willing to do what it takes. They're too weak. They're too soft. They, they, can't, they, can't, they can't go when they don't feel passion and motivation and they give up easily and, and, and they're discouraged. They want the, you know, everything to fall into their lap. They want it to be easier. That's not your problem. Your problem though, as again, I shortened the list of goals, is you've got, I mean, you wanna be what, a professional footballer, you wanna learn more C++ and the mean stack, and what was it? Uh, gosh, I can't even remember. Uh, oh, German, and you wanna read all these books uh, for so many Pomodoros a day. This is, it, it's good that you wanna do all these things, but you need to focus. Like, uh, and, and you already know this because you, you mentioned the, the article about Arnold Schwarzenegger, but you've got to focus on one thing at a time. And if you do that, then you're going to have more success. The thing is, right now, you're, you've, you've got to decide. Because, again, so, so you might look and say, well, John, you do a lot of different things. You know, you're lifting weights and, and running and, and doing you know, videos and blog posts and podcasts and stuff. But it's sort of all kind of focused towards one goal or, one, or two goals, really, on the fitness side and then also the, on, on Simple Programmer, on, on, on progressing that direction. But your, your stuff is kind of scattered out, right? Because you're like, oh, I want to be a professional football player, but I want to be a software developer. And I want to do all these two different things in software development. And I want to learn German. And I want to read all these books on marketing and, and all that, that those things are not going to work uh, together. So what, what you've got to do is you've got to decide what is the most important thing and pick that as your primary goal, the primary direction you're going to go. And then you've got to find the ancillary things that are going to go along with that so that you're, you've got the idea of creating the routine and putting together the schedule but you've got to find the things that complement each other that are going to go for that. So uh, I would say if you want to be a professional football player, if that is like your thing, then then don't don't hedge your bet. Don't like learn, spend a lot of time working on the software development thing that you're not going to use right now. Because if if your if your goal right now is 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 football and you're going to do things around football and you're not going to get a job as a software developer, it sort of is a waste of time to put the effort and energy into learning software development. As much as as I want you to become a software developer, I'm going to tell you if that if that's your primary goal, then don't don't. Don't divert from that. Spend the time training athletically. Spend the time doing the things that are going to help you on, on the football side. 
And the German, it seems like that goes along with that. So maybe do the German and that. If you're gonna go career in software development, then you're, you, you, you're probably gonna to have to put aside less of the, you know, less of the football stuff and maybe not the German and, right? And, and, and the books that you read are gonna, are, gonna, are gonna shift as well. You just don't wanna split in too many directions at once. So the more that you can focus, and you can always tackle one thing at a time. You can devote part of your life right now to doing the best that you can and taking your shot at being, becoming a professional football player and, and focus on that. And then either, whether, whether that works out or not, at a different point in your life, you could then focus completely on software development and, and, and keep that focus. You know, it, it's definitely important to 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 be advancing in, in multiple areas, but they should be at least somewhat related. And I feel like you're just you have too many goals, too scattered out. I'd rather see you have just one goal that you hit as hard as possible. And and I, you know, I've always been the person that's opened a lot of doors at the same time. And I think it's an okay strategy, but I honestly think that I would have been more successful if I would have picked one door and just hammered it as hard as I can. And that, that's sort of what I, I do more so now. I still tend to be a little bit scared because I want to pursue multiple things just like I, I know you do. So I'm giving you advice, I'm giving me advice at the same time. So uh, hopefully, you could, hopefully we could both benefit from this. And uh, you know, if you become a professional football player, uh, then you, know, then you, you just got to tell them that, that it's, it's because you watch simple programmer videos, right? All right. <laughs> so if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Take care.